Donovan Pov. Froyo Donovan. Is it official? I have no clue. I like looked at the roster. I think I've heard Yum Yum Sin Donovan are official, right? No hot dog hand. I refuse. Wait. All right, I need to change this actual command in my my folder. Um, demo time scale point four. And yeah, perfect. All right, there we go. Um. Oh my god, dude, that movie was a banger. I'm not gonna lie. That the hot dog universe is weird as shit, though. Alright, all right, let's see. So, you're doing a left valley, left mid. They're, re they're kind of doing the same thing. Let's see. You guys are... So I'm going to run slow time. Alright. So, you're jumping Bell. They're insta-counter jumping. Oof. Yeah, I don't really like jumping. I don't like jumping personally. I just don't like ever jumping uh, Bell unless they're already in. Or there's some, like, opportunity. Because at least, like... Kobe, he's going to counter jump you every time. He's going to shoot the fuck out of soldiers. So Soapy does the mid. He, I feel like he does it a lot where he goes the other, he goes behind through Cat Valley or sits in his own valley. He's all in the extremities. Ooh, jumping there with 120 was sketch. Alright. So your guys' mid is already really bad. You need to catch bows and try and like survive if they get aggressive. Sin jumps in. You guys get Soapy, I think, high bomb from Valley. Now they're just going to bunker with their med, but their med gets in a spot. Nice rocket on the scout and on the med. Yeah, I just don't think you got a lot of value from your bombs there. I think you could have gotten more if you guys kept wrapping or if you committed across, but you guys kind of stayed in the neutral and just fought Bell and just took spam. I think you took spam, Sin took spam, Yum Yum took spam. You were all just weak. And Soapy eventually came back in after getting a pack valley. I think he just did the high bomb and laid it on Hubba here. But you guys kind of just sat there. Like, if Soapy goes behind, you either need to send it in while he's behind or keep wrapping. But I think your health was already bad at that point, which is rough. But, like... Gee. Um, here we go. Alright, so they have huge ad. You're down your demo. This probably means give up second and... Build a gun. Let's see. Yep, give him a second. Banding, build a gun. Uh, are you going to run a sniper? Yes. Okay, banding, gun, sniper. All right, your priority right now, hold right until it's unholdable, right? And don't don't hold hold it, right? Nice chat. Nice chatting. Um, appreciate to hear it. That's the goal. But uh, the main goal of playing on right, right, it's to deter but not die. Your goal isn't to hard hold right, because you're gonna die. Like, the Uber will either come from you from the side, or the scout soldier will run at you like, what happened to trip over and over again? He just kept trying to hold right and got, like, bullied, because it's 2v1. They have buffs, you usually don't. A lot of times. So, right now, uh, little thing, I don't know if you know, uh, I'll, I'll see if you know. If you walk on the slip and just do a crouch jump, you can get up there without, like, ruining crit heals or having to rocket jump. It's like a little bit of, let's see, do you know? Okay, so they pop in. You should get the call. Right now, your health's already bad. And soldiers are going lower. Are both soldiers going lower? Okay, they both are. So that's probably a thing they're going to do every time. And I usually like going lower as well. So their entire Uber, their goal was to just shove across right. And you got caught. I think Ether got caught. At, so you both got caught at spawn door. So the whole thing is you guys need to play reactive. Ether probably needs to play spawn doors, I'd assume. And try and get in there sooner. You need to probably, instead of jumping there, you need to jump to Claw. And then jump again if they keep chasing you to Plat and catch a bow or catch Resup. Because if they're pushing across like that, you're never getting to Resup. Like if their combo ever gets here, you're most likely not getting there. So you have to go around the other way or shove behind Lobby, which is kind of a feed to go behind Lobby. Just because you're not going to be in the fight for like 10 seconds, like 5 seconds, 7 seconds, something. A substantial amount of time. All right. Next mid. So first mid was a uh, slow left mid. 
Right, so you're not opting to do fast rollout. And Soapy does this a lot. Soapy does either sits in his own cafe, sits in his own valley, and does late bombs. That's like a lot of what Soapy does. And like he's playing far enough where it's all okay. Never mind, he's not. So this is you can clear him, and it's like okay. So miscommunication. Yum Yum wanted a hard clear, and you didn't. So Yum Yum took a one v one and is winning it. And you ended up jumping. You got behind choke really clean. I'm surprised. Right there, I would have instantly jumped on Soapy and try and gotten that pick. Because, like, at that point, that is that is it. Because what could have happened, worst case scenario, Yum Yum gets too rocketed, you get chipped by a scatter and killed in choke. Like, that could have happened. I didn't see what your bomb actually was, so maybe the scout was far away. But so you get a really good late bomb in. Almost, almost. But yeah, you do enough damage that Sin should be able to follow up. Sin does. And good mid overall. E, do I go back? Nah, I won't. I'll assume that Caps was here and it was a free bomb. Because it looked free from what I saw you being there. So yeah, overall good mid. Isolating the pick and then committing when there's no scouts there. And getting enough damage and having follow up and calming it. Yum takes a 1v1 in valley. Dies. So watch for a draw here. And you get vision, so Kobe's forward. Okay, so Cap's pushing choke. Now we gotta decide, are you pushing flank? Are you helping with the combo? What are you doing? So you're helping with combo. Ether's lo hard locking choke. Really good rockets onto Kobe. Right now you could be as pro proactive as you wanted. Right now if you wanted to get pressure behind, which may be a feed, jump off here and jump off that. and you can, Or jump off that and try and get behind bats or something. But this works. Perfect. Alright. Alright, you're perfect. I thought they'd actually be backing up. But they stayed in. So that's all on comms. It's a really good reaction and being proactive. Big thing. Big, big. Alright, really good round. Alright. I'm assuming you're not doing fast rollout because you want to get good health. I got bored. I like took breaks and did other shit. I don't know. Invite is a lot less boring as well than like advanced. No offense. Plus, I get to know what's happening in invite kind of. Oh, that's that's just unfortunate. Yeah, we're just gonna scrap that mid. Uh, that's the reason why I like... Let me let me go back and watch the mid from not your POV. Because that was like... Who gives a fuck? You got clipped twice. Like, it doesn't matter. That mid would have been fine for me. But I want to... Really? I have to go... F Dude, I don't know fucking ticks anymore, man. Like, this shit is so far back. Goddamn, I was at 21k at the end of it. Okay, so let's see. Alright. Um, okay. Yeah, this is why I like fast rollouting. Because Logan would never be able to do this if you fast rollouted. Like, he's fucking... Your mid's over. Like, your mid should be over. Like, instantly. And I get that. I get the cons of fast rolling because I had a lot of trouble with, like, keeping health high enough. But, like, I think you need to at least mix it in a little bit. And, like, you don't have to fast roll out to commit. Like, a lot of times I've been watching, I've been saying, like, oh, fast roll out here so you can spam. Fast roll out here so you can spam. And it's just, like, Logan already did 100 to Ether. You guys are super late. They're already out and, like, like this mid is going to be a really hard comeback anyways. And then, so, okay, so you are trying to, so you guys are just trying to go left. So you're trying to go left, and since you see a scout, you're trying to fight him, and then since you're weak, you're going cafe. Oh, no, you're just trying... Okay, that's unfortunate. So you're just trying to go cafe to fucking goddamn distract. <laughs> Ew. Well, Rex, where's the grind at? Where are you this season? I need my roamers to stand up. What about that life? I see. Facts. Supposed to you. 
It's possible. Walrus is on the up and up. Ooh, nice rockets. Unfortunate. All right, so they have twenty ad. Dude, I'm fucking. I'm getting water burger after this. Fuck it. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be fat and I'm gonna be happy about it. All right, so they're popping off the twenty ad. One thing Lol guys are really good at is building always. So hoping it gets caught by that Uber, and this is gonna be basically right now. Unless they fuck up or you hit every shot, you lost. If they play it correctly, if they play beam, play focus fire, you lost. So. I don't know how he, where did he, uh, where did he get caught? Actually, you guys are doing a pretty good job of holding. So, like, if you die there, I don't blame you, because you kind of have to make a play. So, how about I got caught, I assume, how about I got caught in rotation room here? Uh, they have Whataburgers in Arizona. So, yeah, Arizona's got a lot of those fast food places. Like, we got Canes, Whataburger, Portillo's. I don't know what else. Culver's. Okay, so you guys are doing a choke rollout. Banny's rolling out cafe. So you bully Soapy out instantly. And this is a big thing right now. Okay, so he's catching a bow. So you guys are committing off of the damage on Soapy. Or you're taking ground at least. Alright, right now you could just fucking... Ooh, I like this bomb. Okay, so good double bomb. They're all looking at you. I really like the decision to fade. The only thing is it's like you're not confirming a med pick. You're putting Sin in a really, really good spot, but there's a chance Sin doesn't get it because Lil Guy is full and is, Lil Guy is very good. But you jump in after. Uh, I was talking to my like uh, mentor teacher. Apparently, it's not horrible. It's not like the worst worst, but it also depends. But math teachers also make more because uh, they're a hot commodity. But yeah, like, <laughs> um, I get it. I personally just like, I like, what if, so what I'm saying is like, what if you jumped on here and then instantly jumped back in? Because the thing is, what that what you did at first was super good. I really like that because I would have just jumped in and insta died to Caps, but you drew Caps' eyes while keeping good health. If you jumped in right when they turned to look at Sin... Uh, burger, a burger meal is like 10, 12, like a double burger, double meat, water burger. It's like 10 something bucks, I think. 10, 11. But yeah, I think the main thing is you want to bomb at the same time because you don't want to give them one by one. Especially like with Lol Guy. Lol Guy's really good. It's like you can't give Lol Guy that opportunity. And plus they were all clumped. Like it was demo scout med clumped and choke away from fucking everybody they were in a really bad spot and it's one of those things it's like you're gonna get a feel of like how you you guys play together like it's a soldier thing it happens over the course of a season you're gonna get a lot better and like these guys have been playing together for a while so they're gonna have a little bit of synergy with that so it's not something too damn look i popped there oh banny peaked on sniper okay all right so you're down to right now you need to get health and try and hard or soft hold a door. Like get 300 and be in the middle, ready to bomb whatever door they're going to potentially come in. They're going to be sacking. Your goal is to either, you need to stall for spawners or try and get a valuable Uber. That's, I'm surprised you got one shot there. That's unfortunate. Kobe doesn't miss though. It happened. Um, yeah. I think you guys probably should have. It's hard to say. You just kind of choose a door in hope. And if they have good, if they're good, they're going to spot the door you're actually on. And fucking, you know, go the ro the other one. But a lot of it is, is not stacking you and Ether on the same door. It's Ether. Like a lot of times what I like to do on demo is throw traps. Like if you're playing right in that situation of 4v6, throw traps left, play in the middle. So you've traps on left, and you're in the middle, so if they come right, you can still shoot both doors, and then you're in the same spot where either you're playing on right while Ether's watching left, and you can rotate based on it. It's basically covering both doors, sort of. And the main goal is to stall, get a pick, or get a valuable Uber, because you're playing for spawners. That's like, that's like the goal, right? The whole winning condition is you either pop and get kills, 
you pop and stall and get another last hold is usually the win condition. But what happened was kind of unfortunate. You jump soldier and I'm surprised you got one shot. You're like 200. But headshot rocket fall damage, kind of crazy. All right, so Soapy's doing the same mid. So they're so they're doing a hard right mid. Honestly, I wouldn't be opposed to a cafe rollout, but I think Soapy's doing that to counter the cafe rollout. And another reason I don't love jumping on your own cafe if they're going... Well, especially if they're going right, just because you're going to get counter jumped. And like your mid's are already low-key over. You're going to have to catch a bow. So you catch a bow, so it's not terrible. It's like a risk reward thing, and bows kind of make risk reward a lot less. So you're just trading spam, you're on floor. All right, on purpose. Here we go. But I like how you're being very proactive is the main thing. And like you're trying stuff, which is important. You need to try shit. Especially on Roamer against like a really good team. You need to like see what works, see what doesn't. Were you a pocket main? I feel like you were a pocket main. Like, or you're just like a soldier main. Yeah, that's good. That's all. I don't know. The thing about like the three pickups, like guaranteed, is Banny always has like the prototype. It's like gives a fuck is the main like number one. But you guys have really like you, Yum Yum, and Sin. All the confirmed pickups have good DM, good attitude, and good comms, which is like a huge thing. It's like giving a fuck is like super key as well to like picking up a good player. And, like, still, people cannot work out, but it's, like, the fact that you got, like, all those three things, it's, like, you're in a good spot. Plus with Banny, he'll, he'll help you out a little bit. Just a little bit. And I'm, all I'm saying is if, if scrims don't go your way now, keep your head up. You guys are a fucking brand-ass new team. So don't take it too hard. Take it as a learning experience. Get the fucking kinks out now. You're probably going to play them week one because that's how or RGL works. How scheduling it always is Froyo versus the uh, the other team usually. Week one. But remember, it's a it's an eight-week season. It's like a ten-week season actually, but... It's the long run. Regular season doesn't matter for like you guys. Because fucking... You guys are making playoffs. Seeding... Eh, sort of matters. TF2, I don't think it matters that much. As long as you're not the fourth seed. And you're, so you don't play the first seed. Round one. Alright. So spamming gun. I already know the thing that Froyo kind of does. Because we were trying to do it. I don't know if Bandy's talked about it enough where everyone's kind of on the same page though. I won't spoil, I guess. Alright, sacking on this map is a lot of... <clears throat> depending on where the gun is, like right now... I assume you're just going to send it top right. You got juggled. Because you can. The gun isn't blocking top right. You could send it through top right with Yum Yum and try and get a demo pick or something. Like, I like that. Where's, where's, there's where lol guy is playing. You can't curve that hard is the thing. Like, you can't curve to get to lol guy. So it's like, what do I want to do, right? But yeah, you're just sending sacks to kind of, like, incentivize them to actually push. Banny Yum Yum get on. That's a really good wrap from Yum Yum. They stole the gun up though. Good play by bot mode. Not to like get too too crazy with it. And that gun stalls for spawner. Oh, I don't like the sniper play. Um, okay. Oh wait, you just got there. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, let me go back. Actually, do I need to go back? I think you just jump from top right into the combo to commit with your team. Knowing Banny, he was screaming for a bomb. I won't say screaming. Asking very politely for a bomb. Well, Benny wasn't there. He's was calling for Yum Yum, maybe. But yeah. And there, honestly, I'd like preference-wise. This is just a me thing. I would want to sack there for a force, like send a two man, instead of because uh, I think Uber trades are just not worth against defenses because you're just playing into their spawners, and that's what they want. Like, sometimes it works, but a lot of the times what you're doing is you're you're doing what they want. Like, the, the win condition when you were in a 4v6, right? They didn't commit. They committed players, but not Uber. They went for a force, and it's really hard not to force there. And B is a lot of the times you overcommit for it because it's winnable, and then your med gets caught and you get last to last it, right? Or at least 
to second or some shit to mid maybe. All right, but it's even. You have Yum Yum Sniper. Nice shot immediately. So now it's all on Soapy to hold something. And a lot of times this means if you wanted right now to take... I am surprised that you are peeking here. I feel like you are dead. Yeah. Be real. Don't know why you did that. That was a little bit too greedy. All right, so you're getting a lot of spam on low guy. Ooh, that's unfortunate. So we just got a really good fade spam bomb. All right, yeah, let's fight. Ooh, and you got forced or you took an Uber in. I remember watching Banny stream. The main thing that he usually talks about is that no one's there for Ubers. And it just looked like you guys were not, you weren't in the position to take a trade. And I think at that point, Ether just died. You guys are in cafe, and you're all like in cafe. Like, that's kind of a give give up situation, or like someone needs to come in and say fuck, getting a pack. Like, there you you and Sin need to calm because a lot of soldier now isn't pocket roamer. It's who's in the position at the time. Like there, maybe you could have came in the Uber instead of like going to flank as like a like default because that is what you do as roamer. You usually go to flank. But I think Banny kind of would want you there, right? And it's a lot of communication. Like, Sin needs to go, I can't go. And you need to be, okay, I can go. Like, same thing with Sax, but it's a lot harder because it's not as, like, black and white as I don't have health, you sack instead. It's like, I don't have health, you go take an Uber and blah, blah, blah. But there, Banny wants a soldier or a demo to... Either more kill power or a distraction when the Uber ends so they don't get instantly shit on. Right? And it's another thing. It's going to take time to learn. So it's like time to learn like, oh, Benny wants to take X Uber whenever, blah, blah, blah. And he wants someone in it. So you guys pop out bats, doing your due diligence, pushing out dungeon. Make sure you're calming who's going where. Someone got behind through bats. So after you guys Uber through bats, that's a huge thing. That's that's why um So Demo needs to be holding these two doors. This is Ether's job. This is Ether's job. If you're Ubering out bats, a lot of it is these are Ether's job. Your job is to peak dungeon. You don't have to push it. As long as people I was holding it though, how'd he get in? Did he where did he get in from? Did he get in from lower left of the dungeon? I have no clue. I just assumed. Let me see. Uh, I don't want to go too far back. Five, nine, thousand. I'm curious. Peaked out a moment. Uh, so it's just timing. Uh, let's find them. Alright, let's see. What the shit? Alright. Um, okay. Let's see. Where did Soapy come from? I'm assuming he jumped from Valley to... Yeah, he just... Okay. Man, he needed to call that shit. Uh, maybe he just didn't know. Maybe he thought he got by a sticky. Yeah, it was literally just timing. Um... Yeah, I don't know what else you can say there. Someone should have probably seen it is the thing. Um, yeah, like I was saying, I don't love pushing out dungeon, especially when we're insta-popping. Uh, who are the scouts? It's bot mode and caps. Uh, the thing is I like peeking it, because most of the time, if you are Ubering out instantly, the dungeon push just takes a while, and if, if you call that, can someone get a spot on, like, bush and shit, and see if someone will actually get through there. And you go through bats, or you go through bottom left, and just kind of patrol the extra stuff so it's like it's a bit of kind of seeing what you like to do though so i will say because yeah this is another thing you need why i say you need a fast roll is logan just got like rollers on choke and hit you hit hubba and that's gonna hold you up for like a solid however much time right because now you're just already a shit spot you started this fight at like 160 sin's already in and your health was kind of bad you were in a good position and that's one of those things that 
you guys need to be communicating each other. Like, I can't bomb. Or asking, can you bomb in three? Like, stuff like that. And it's like, I need a bow. Give me five. Like, and then get in a bowable spot and then bomb. And it's a lot of communication. Because right there, it was... Sin jumped in alone and went really deep. And I don't know if the rest of the team was in a position. Because you were weak. And, yeah. But yeah, like I said, I think you need to start trying to roll out and like playing around with it. And sure, maybe some mids you'll take 150 instantly and have to take two bows, right? But you need to get learn like what the kind of thing is because he's getting free reign on mids right now, and he's he's getting like an early sticky pipe and living. We did tonight. Okay, that's good. Yeah, that's definitely one of those things you need to try a little bit. And I accepted my uh, my health's not going to be f buffed ever on Sunshine Mids, which is like, whatever. Does it make that big of a difference? Sorta. Is it more impactful to be early on mid and get spam on demo and choke and deny shit? And just like kind of hold people up? I think so. Also, I don't love the cafe fight if you guys aren't pushing left. Because you're kind of trading damage in their favor. Because you're like on their side of the map, right? They're, they're, that soldier's way more accessibly bowed and can't get the pack while you're... I think your med was near Valley or closer to Shed where you're kind of behind... Like the Tetris is in between. So it's like it doesn't feel like it gets a lot of value there. Like I think it, there's definitely value in getting the guy off the high ground. But just trading damage. I don't know. I'm not a big damage trade guy. Also, my spam's not great, so it's like I never really was a, uh, a big guy on that. But, like, once again, it's all preference. And try shit. Try hiding in your valley. Try hiding in your cafe. Try a cafe mid with your team where you you guys commit instantly to valley. Just, like, try, try shit. See what works. See what doesn't. See how we can get stuff better. Because you don't want to be locked into one mid the entire time. That's unfortunate. Yeah, I always try and shoot a rocket here whenever I turn the corner and just like rocket clear instead of like peak clear. Because like maybe he'll get away, but you'll never or you most likely won't die. And just kind of being like a main thing about Romer is just being fucking paranoid and just like spamming, checking shit and like always calming. Like there could be I always I remember whenever I play him like there could be a spy watch for back cap and like all the little warnings. And Soapy does do, like, cheese shit like that. He does skybox shit. He does fucking corner shit. Market gardener. Like, stuff like that. And, yeah, like, what? You're gonna get used to his flank. Bot mode sends it a lot. Like, random. Like, at times you'll be like, no way he just fucking shoves here. And then he does. And it's like, this is stupid. But he doesn't miss. So it's like, it works out. So you just kind of need to be ready. Alright, so I like this. I didn't know about that one. If I were you, I would have done a second jump off uh, this if I wanted to get bought faster. Just because this fucking skybox is ass. This is ass, ass. The main thing is you need to go fast. You don't need to go high. You need to go high and fast. So when you jumped, you got like here. If you shot another rocket like horizontally, right? You would have just voomp. Yeah, but the skybox... On any other map, it'd be fine, but the skybox is ass. For... I don't know why it's still that way. I know why it is, because they don't want to update the map, but, like... Why not just commit? Because the goal was to make space for your team to get in. The idea wasn't to send a one-man, because one-mans just don't work that well anymore. Because the med's good, the scouts know it's coming. So what his goal there was to... His goal was to get behind, so then... He could pressure something with the rest of his team and get a bomb back in, or if they turn back, his team gets in, and it's just, it opens up the map off of a pick, and you're trying to make space and make make more ways that G6 can make a mistake or you can make a play. So Soapy's doing a bigger sack, which is actually really good just because you can sink three rockets instantly, and there's a chance the, uh, what's it called? Uh, randomness to miss. Um, yeah, it happens. You kind of need to scout with there, you there first before you kind of do it. And it ends up working out because you guys 
because they end up backing up off that. You're taking a trade, chicken trade, bandy super aggro. You guys are on the choke sin. Okay, it works out. I was a bit worried about that one. Okay, I like it though. Alright, so you guys just need to chill the fuck out. Alright, right now, this is time to be paranoid as shit. This is, uh... There we go. This is goddamn... They're gonna feed for your medic. This is one big thing that fucked us over on land the first day, is literally every time they made a hero play, they got our medic. And you just can't win doing that. You need to keep it, like, clean, right? You guys need to play it nice. Make sure nothing happens, like, that shouldn't. Holy fuck, this is awkward. Oh my god. Alright, but yeah, I like that. Maybe did different, but like the whole idea of just like getting with the team and blobbing, because you guys have Uber ad. And you have player ad at that point, I think, as well. Benny played that really well. Alright. Um, Taps playing it pretty well, too. Uh, Sin gets picked. Banny's gonna try and take this Uber anyway. So you're rolling out, and there's a scout behind. Choose the right door. I yeah, look back. Good job. He's not there. So this means get the fuck in. That guy's not my problem now. That's someone else's. Right now, right now, bombing in three. Bombing in three. You need to call this so everybody gets on the same page. I don't know if you did. Bombing on three. Just any time on last push, you need to coordinate aggression when it's in like this dead time. Because you don't want to burn time, because the more time you burn, they're going to get Uber, they're going to get spawners. You're going to lose because they have resup. Like, you need to, once everybody's ready and healthy, you need to coordinate. It's a big thing on process as well. It's like a big map. Uber doesn't get much, but when you're in like in a neutral, you need to coordinate aggression like ASAP. Be like, bombing in three. Uh, can you go? Uh, shoot rockets a cap always. Like, if you have the chance, if there's six on it, always shoot a rocket at it. Clear the cone as well, if possible. It's usually a pocket thing, but if you're a soldier and you are there and there are sticks on it, clear it. It'll make your job easier because there will be cat time or scout baiting cat, which makes space for you. All right, you got 30 out again. You guys get Logan with the Uber. Right now you need to know like the Uber's coming. They're going to get soon. Really good bomb on the Kobe. And good job playing cat. But yeah, that's a big thing that you need. Everybody needs to understand, like, I think underrated call is like, what's the goal? Like, what's their Uber at? What's the goal? Right there, the goal was to either kill the med or cap the point quick. You're not going to win that fight in like a slow sustain spam and shit, right? You have to in, you have to make something happen fast. Okay, so you are doing a cafe mid. Um, only thing is I would recommend playing this corner. Unless you're trying to bomb quick, right? Just because you're going to get a lot... You're, if they clear you here, you're going to die. Alright, that's huge. Soapy's really weak. You get a bomb in. Keep going behind, keep going behind, keep going behind. Okay, you're different. Never mind. Okay. Yeah, you just 185 two rocketed him. The only reason I said keep going behind is because you kind of already won the mid. Um... If you jumped behind the pack, Caps would have chased you. Lil Guy would have, have to had to turn and chase you, and you kept going back until your team can follow up. And you're just stalling them, right? But you kind of just two-rocketed them. So, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Bro, he took my VIP away. actually fucked up I put in my time I, I put my time in two years or two seasons not even two not even a year <laughs> two seasons two seasons and three lands come on all right wait I feel bad let me go back uh, 94,000 Wow, that's about to end. Alright, uh, I'll watch Wooshy Dish One. Wooshy Dish One. Alert, alert, alert. He's muted again. <laughs> um. Pop, 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 pop. 
All right, huge ad. They just got spawners. There probably should be, like, caps should already be on NG, to be honest. Like, they should have a level 3 up already. All right, so you guys take your time, getting your buffs. Make sure not to ruin crit heals this whole time. No reason to take damage if unless they're peeking you. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Not much you can do about that one, but... Will this be on YouTube? Yeah, I'll upload it probably tomorrow or the next day. I have to cut it into three different videos, I think. All right, so you get through left really clean. Get rocket onto Soapy. Good second. So you just get a really good committal off of them not looking. And they were already kind of... You guys had a really good Uber. Like, you had add. They didn't have a great... Well, they had a gun. But you guys got really clean in. All right, let's see what happens this mid. I already know you're going to lose this mid. Because I know the game ends right now. So, let's see what happens. So, Yum Yum is a really aggro alone. Doesn't really get punished for it. All right, so you are clearing cafe. Honestly, a little thing that I think you could do is just spam a rocket at this corner, just like while you're walking by, because it's kind of like no reason not to, you know? Because you're walking there anyways. I don't like you standing here with your demo for so long. You know, just because like, what if the soldier spams you, demo already hit you, like your mid's kind of over. Like you guys also are kind of like dilly dallying over, I you probably changed in the next scrims, but like in these you're kind of just like chilling and over there. It, it you need like an objective on mid. Like, what's the goal? Are we rapping? Are we trying to double bomb commit? Uh, are we trying to like get a like counter soapy in their cafe? Are we trying to kill Logan? Are we trying to like gotta kind of have like goals on mid? Like goals on last push. Goals gets everybody on the same page without having to micro everybody. All right. All right, so the huge ad, this is already like, they got in so far without popping, like, this is already kind of unwinnable. Like, once they get that far in, somebody has to fuck up bad, or somebody has to pop off bad. Yeah, I'll fight 600 people. <laughs>